Within days of stay-at-home orders, wildlife had been stunningly and unexpectedly sighted in major urban centers globally, including animals that are threatened or endangered. This has captivated the general public and scientists alike. Mountain lions in the USA, wild boars in Italy, manatees in Costa Rica, a leatherback sea turtle, a jaguar, and vulnerable great curassows in Mexico. All of these have been seen in cities and resort towns recently, potentially driven by the lack of humans. And at the same time, some animals who rely on human waste, such as jackals in Israel, and feeding by humans, such as Nera deer in Japan, and macaques in Thailand, have been going further into cities in search of food. So as you can see now with lockdown, people are staying indoors and the animals that we haven't seen for many, many years are now coming back to the cities. And they're finding all of these rare and endangered animals walking around in the cities because there are no people. Your project for this week is to think of a country and then choose an animal from that country that is rare or endangered. That shouldn't be too difficult. For the country, find a famous landmark. For example, in Paris, it would be the Eiffel Tower. Or in Japan, it would be the Imperial Palace. And you're gonna draw a picture of what would happen if all the people were inside their house and all the animals were taking over the city. It might be kind of a funny picture. You could show the animals in the park, sitting on a bench, eating a sandwich. Maybe they're taking over a restaurant. Animals could be driving cars. There's lots of different ideas that you could come up with. So use your imagination. Okay, so you're gonna draw some animals and I want you to find some animals on Google, some animals that are from the place, the country that you are drawing and they should be rare or endangered animals. I think that makes sense. Here's a good resource. This is a book by Alexander Calder. There's also a famous sculptor from America. It's called Animal Sketching. And what's nice about this is that when he draws his animals, it's very relaxed. Okay, so this could be your first step before you add the details. The reason that these are so loose is because he actually went out to a zoo or went out to a park and he saw these animals and he would draw them as he was looking at them. And uh, it's a very relaxed style to it, but very natural. And these are all from things that he actually saw. Sometimes maybe he would change it, uh, make some adjustments afterwards with these lines. But when you draw your animal, just keep it quite loose and then you can go back later and draw some more details. This is a book by Alexander Calder. When you do your drawing, you're gonna use a piece of paper. Start out with a pencil, could be an HB pencil, and an eraser, any kind of eraser you have in the house. You're just gonna draw your picture very lightly. I would recommend using a ruler if you have one because you're gonna be doing a city view and in cities there are lots of straight lines of buildings, things such as that. You may want to do a single point perspective drawing if you feel comfortable with that. With a perspective drawing you have a horizon line and a vanishing point and your lines coming out. It depends on you what you'd like to do. Make sure that your landmark is very recognizable. People looking at it will know where it is. To do that, you need to look at some photos. Also make sure that your animals 
are correct. The animal should look like the animal that you're trying to draw. Start out with pencil, and then you can switch to markers or ballpoint pens, anything like that that you have in the house. This is not a pencil drawing, so you will be going over it with ink. Whatever colors you have, you can use to color, colored pencils or crayons, paint or watercolor, whatever you have. That's what you're going to use. I look forward to seeing what you do, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye!